Hi guys, welcome in. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. I am here to do the zodiac sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And guys, um, if you please give me at least five minutes for the intro here, I would really like to do a manifestation ritual with you. Um, I made this candle. I already burned one for the, the zodiacs that are already uploaded. Um, I am now working on the second one. This is a manifestation candle for protection. It's for whatever manifestation or intentions you want to put into it for the eclipse season and the new moon. We're going to take it from the new moon to the full moon. Lunar or uh, solar. We just had the new moon solar eclipse. And mid-May we will have the uh, full moon lunar eclipse so i'm going to light this candle i would like you guys to set your intentions we're going to say an affirmation for your reading and for the month for literally eclipse season and the month of may okay so if you'll repeat after me i am ready to start a new chapter i am ready to manifest abundance I welcome love into my life in all its forms. I am ready for inspiration and growth, and I am ready to accept and embrace change. I am grateful, grateful, and so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, um, so we set our intentions. I want to make a few announcements. We're going to go really deep because this is apparently what Spirit wanted me to do. I, I wasn't going to. I was going to try and keep these readings, you know, to about a half an hour each. But I guess the energy requires a much deeper, deeper reading. Because a lot of these relationships that I personally read for, because I am an Ascension, Twin Flame Ascension coach. And um, my mission is to help people who chose this lifetime to ascend and who are doing that with a twin flame high level soulmate or just a karmic partner. We're learning lessons, closing out cycles. So we're going to go deep, guys. I've got lots of advice for you. We're going to look at your person, whoever is on your heart and mind, whoever's on this journey with you. We're going to look at their current energy in the month of May. We're going to look at your energy, uh, you know, how how you're feeling and thinking about them, them about you. We're going to look at shadow work. What is spirit working with your person on in their own shadow work? Uh, what is the, the energy and advice from the higher self? And we're doing the same for you. And then we're taking a look at the contract right here in the middle, right? What is the meaning of meeting this person in your life? Right. Some of you guys will be eclipsing and ending relationships in this time. And others of you will be clearing out old cycles, um, the past, healing the past in order to move forward into the future toward union. And so there's always the lesson that is meant to be learned. Right. So this is the past, the present, the future, the obstacles, the most likely next action and the most likely outcome and i will clarify all of this this is going to be a deep reading um now uh to get down to business if you guys would please take a moment right now to hit that thumbs up i'm going to put a lot of time and energy into asking some really deep questions for you and your person if you don't have anybody on your heart and mind this is probably not your reading um, I'll do a singles pick a pile reading soon as soon as I get these zodiacs done. Um, I might even go live and do all 12 zodiacs for the singles um, after I get these completed. Um, but please take a moment to hit that thumbs up. You know, it's taking a lot of time and effort for me to do this for you. And I would appreciate a little love. Um, also, for those of you ha who are returning clients or viewers, you know that um, Rich Lop and Leah Ann, who is an, Rich is another YouTube uh, sensation, I love the guy, 
He and his fiance are getting married. They've asked me to officiate their wedding. It will be in the beginning of July. And I am doing some fundraising in order to uh, manifest some money to pay for costs and travel expenses and a little bit of fun money. So if you'd like to contribute to that, there's a link in the description box where you can donate. There's also a link where you can purchase a private reading. And I'm offering some smaller readings for uh, very little um, money in order to, you know, create some abundance for that. So if you'd like to support that, if Rich is how you met me, or if it's, you know, part of your ascension or your healing, and you'd like to contribute to that, there are ways in the description box. Also, there's always an extended version of all of my Zodiacs available over in my Patreon. Um, it's a cheaper way for me to offer extendeds. I don't have to pay for Vimeo, and you don't have to rent each and every video or purchase them. So it's much cheaper. It's only $4.44. It is a paid subscription. Uh, <clears throat> so if you want to watch the extended, you have a link in the description box to join Patreon so you never miss a single uh, ver or extended version. Okay, also, if you resonate with being a twin flame or a high-level soulmate in, in this ascension process with a person, a loved, a lover, high-level lover, soulmate, um, you might want to look at the 1111 tier that is all twin flames or high-level soulmates, and we are currently doing personal healing, journaling, shadow work in order to prepare for union. All of that is available. There's over a hundred videos already uploaded um, for journaling and getting to know your deeper self, your more authentic self. And there's a 2222 where I teach workshops and classes. Already taught a tarot class, will be starting a numerology class and various other classes in the future. All right, now we got everything out. Shoo, I tried to do that quickly. How long did it take? seven minutes holy shit i'm so sorry guys it's a big reading okay i do apologize but it's necessary all right let's take a look at your person's energy scorpio's person is showing up as the warrior wow number two choices and decisions right balance harmony the warrior so you guys could be fighting <laughs> and we have trust number 32, which is the number five. So this person has a hard time trusting anybody is what it feels like. They are in the yoni. They're in, they're protecting their energy. They're feeling raw. It's funny because here they look all, you know, protective and here they look like they're a warrior. So um, if you are arguing or fighting with this person currently, um, then it's a front, you know, this warrior spirit that your person puts out into the world is just really a front for the vulnerable inner child that, that has a hard time trusting people. It's really a facade. It's not their true, true nature. They're very divinely protected, too. They're going through a rebirth process. I'm seeing, you know, we got ducks here <laughs> protecting this, this rebirth, this transformation. You know, it is all about trust. So what is... Oh, their current energy is, I can't do this. Fear and anxiety are interfering. Yeah, this person's, you know, their trauma, whatever they've been through in their lifetime, has caused them to come to this place of of um, withdrawing. I'm seeing a white flag. I can't do this. I give up. Just, you know, they've withdrawn. I think for a while they were fighting. And now they're just, they're, they're withdrawing. 
they're they have a lot of fear and anxiety around trust so what is their shadow they're working on narrow-minded you have a limited outlook on perspective and thoughts what makes you think your thoughts are solid gold again the warrior so this is ego this person is warring within themselves with narrow-minded thinking okay now that's not a bad thing we all have limited beliefs right but this limited belief this person has around faith and trust and and vulnerability is really kind of triggered them into a lot of fear and anxiety But there are some belief systems here that your person has around, around you, around relationships, around trusting other people um, that they're, they're being asked to face, right? Face the fear, face the anxiety. But I don't really feel like they are doing that. I feel like they're right now withdrawing. They're throwing up and it's like, this is too hard. I can't fight anymore. I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of, of being afraid. I'm tired of being filled with anxiety. I don't know if I can trust this. I don't know if I can trust my own thoughts, my own beliefs anymore. Bottom of the deck energy. There's that fear and anxiety. Wow. Right there. Fear and anxiety. Your person doesn't feel stable they don't trust this you know the king of pentacles is so grounded so abundant so rock solid in their life and i think this person is facing a lot of anxiety arguing fighting with the King of Pentacles, he can be a husband card. This could be a long-term relationship that you have with this person. Uh, maybe you just had a fight. There's a choice back here. Somebody made a choice. And the choice was probably not the best choice. It, it looks like, I, you know, So this would be the warrior and this is the the defeat. This is, I give up. I can't do this. I think your person bit off more than they could chew when it comes to you. Um, or maybe a lot of things in their life. They're, they want stability. They want to feel secure. We have, if you want it, create it. King of Pentacles energy, right? The Midas touch. If you want it, create it. Visualize in 10. Feel as if take a step with faith. Faith comes hard for this person. They don't trust. We have be here now. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow is yet to be created. So this person has fear and anxiety, probably because all of us have fear and anxiety around past experience, right? Well, when I did this, I experienced that. You know, it's like, um, I've been burnt, I've been hurt, I've been lied to, I've been, I've had to fight my whole life to be seen, to be heard, to be recognized, to, to, I had to fight for my stability, my security. It seems like your person is, is triggered at the moment and feeling a bit withdrawn. Show up, don't give up. You know, uh, I think your person has a lot of fight left in them and spirit saying, you know, this defeatist energy is not serving their higher purpose right now. They're, you know, their higher self is asking them, don't give up. Don't wave that white flag. Don't withdraw. If you want it, create it. Go for it. Show up. Don't give up. Be here now. Right. You're not the victim anymore. You're not that person. You didn't. This is different. Be here. This is not that. Collaborate with others and ask for help or advice. So, you know, your person could be really in a bad place, in a bad way right now. 
fear and anxiety and stress. They might need counseling. They might need advice from a friend or from a professional. Uh, they might actually need to lean heavier on their, you know, spirit team, uh, family, friends, co-workers. But this person is, is, they're tr there's a lot of something. <laughs> I don't know yet what it is, but your person is going through something very, very triggering. And it's like they're so exhausted and tired. They're not sleeping at night. And they just want to give up. Wave that white flag, right? I can't do this. I give up. But spirit is pushing them not to give up. Show up. Don't give up. You can do this. If you want it, create it. Visualize it. Intend it. Feel as if. Take a step with faith. Make that choice. But your person feels like everything's stacked against them, like the whole world is against them. Very deep energy. I've, I'm really feeling compassion for your person because they're going through some really, really huge uh, anxiety. And I don't know if this has to do with you or if this is other areas of their life. We're going to take a look at that. Over here, let's take a look at what is your energy toward them. We have High Priestess of Earth. Look at, we got King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles energy here. High Priestess of Earth. Both of you guys feel like you're normally pretty rooted and grounded people. I think meeting each other has really kind of um, uprooted and shook up your foundation. And again, I have to say, for some of you, this could be a spouse. You could be married to this person. You, a lot of this energy is coming through. Holy crap, man. I wonder how many marriages are going to break up during this eclipse. <laughs> and and how many marriages are going to be tested and, and strengthened for the future, right? Getting professional help, counseling. Doesn't have to be marriages, but you know, when you get the king and queen of earth, that's that's very kind of husband wife energy. Take what resonates. You could both be earth signs. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously you can't because I'm doing Scorpio, but I guess what I mean is there could be heavy earth in your charts. Um, but this, you know, pentacles is to me. It's commitment, it's it's solid, it's foundational. You can bite it, bury it in the backyard, it'll be there 20 years from now. This is this is solid. I don't know, let's take a look. So you're showing up as the queen high priestess of earth, and you have faith. Look at the yin and the yang. <laughs> so we have trust as an issue for your person, and you are in empress energy, faith, right? I got the faith of a mustard seed, moving mountains. Number 31, it's four. This is stability, security. Again, you're, you're grounded. You're doing fine. You're full of faith. You, you know, I, I think your person has been, I think they're going through a tower moment and you're just kind of sitting over here patiently waiting for the birth of something new. You have faith, you're creating, you're in creator energy. Time to celebrate a joyous occasion or event will soon take place for some of you. You could be literally pregnant or birthing something new into your life. Doesn't have to be a, a literal pregnancy, but it's you, you know, birthing something new into your life, something grounded, something worth celebrating. A joyous occasion. What is your shadow work? We have victim mentality. The universe wants what's best for you, not the worst. Change your perspective. I think you have. I think I see you in Empress energy. I think this was shadow that this person helped you with. Meeting this person helped you to actually see this and overcome this and find your stability, your, your strength, right? It's yin and yang is what it feels like. Like you're, op you're, 
you're in this energy, they're in the opposite energy. And maybe in the past, they were in this energy and you were in the opposite energy. But you're definitely um, opposing right now. You, This person could be stressed and worried about matching your energy too. You know? They could be really stressing over, you know... Can I trust this? Is this really safe and secure and grounded? Is this something I can bite and bury in the backyard, right? Is this, can I be this or can I have this? Or is this going to become that? We have script your future, dream big, bigger. Again, you guys are in high manifestation. You're calling in abundance, celebration. You're giving birth to new things. I think you've healed that victim mentality. I think that that's what all of this has done for you. Is It's leveled you up. It's given you strength. You're looking at your future. You're creating abundance. You're, you're really in good energy. We have, there is a different angle here. Look from a new perspective. I think that's what you've done. Honestly, it's what I feel. I feel like you've done that. So what is the shared lesson? Why did you guys meet? Cut off. Boundaries have been enforced. So this, you were probably in this energy of, of, um, you know, the queen of, Pentacles energy is mothering, nurturing, loving, giving, compassionate, sturdy, reliable, um, capable. I'm hearing capable. But in the distortion, the Queen of Pentacles can be needy. She can be, um, you know, victim mentality. She can be easily taken advantage of. I think the two queens in the tarot that get taken care, taken advantage of the most are the mother archetypes, which is Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. And so, you know, you guys met each other to learn how to have boundaries, both of you. How can you be, you know, grounded and stable in your earthly existence and manifest your wealth, manifest security, if you're constantly feeling taken advantage of and, and you know, if you're aligning with people that step over your boundaries, who take advantage, boundaries have been enforced. I think both of you are learning how to have boundaries. You got a lot of shadow work that the two of you came into this lifetime or this this contract with um I only wanted to take one or two and they just kept coming out I only went through the deck once and there's like I don't know 25 cards is all and this is what came out and I was told to take them so we have what did you come together to learn what is the purpose of this to learn patience right we have impatient. Look for patterns of your impatience. I mean, the king and queen of pentacles are patient. They're sturdy. They know their worth. They're grounded. They're, you know, earth energy. Like mountains, right? But in the distortion, they can be highly impatient. Look for patterns of your impatience. Notice the negative physical symptoms it causes you. Stress. Stress, anxiety. Just, or I'm sorry, take deep breaths and slow down. See, you're in this queen of pentacles energy. You are, I think you've learned patience. I think you've learned to be in flow, to be, to be in faith. I think you're giving birth to new things in your life. I think you're scripting, you're manifesting you're going to be able to celebrate. You've cleared energy of some sort. And you've seen the bigger picture. You see things, right? That you couldn't see before. But I think it's only through this relationship or this person, meeting this person, has helped you to get to where you are today. And if you're feeling impatient, because, you know, you can be in this wonderful energy and still feel impatient, 
But with this faith card, it tells me no matter how impatient you are, you still are carrying great faith that this is, that this serves a purpose, that this is meant to happen. This is being done for you, not to you. You, I think you've come a long way, baby. We also have quick-tempered, think before you speak, put space between your thoughts and the words that come out. Now, if you're if you're resonating with this side, because energy is fluid, you can put yourself in either side. But Scorpios are water signs. They're very loving, compassionate, highly freaking psychic. But boy, if you piss them off, they, they've got venom, right? They can sting you. They can be harsh, quick-tempered. So I don't know if this is you or them or it's something you both shared. But this is something that both of you came together to work on as a team. Right? Quick-tempered. Think before you speak. We have jealousy. Your past wounds need healing. Work on your self-love. You are far greater than you know. And we have self-absorbed. Seek to feel what others are feeling. Empathy, right? Express empathy to others to overcome this. So I think you triggered the hell out of each other is what I think. I'm seeing all kinds of, you know, passionate feelings, temper, jealousy, self-absorbed, impatience, warrior. Whew, I need a breath after that. Let's see what the higher self has to say for both of you. Never forget your value. You're priceless. I think both of you tended to attract people into your life that took advantage of you. I think this person over here has been very um, committed and stable and grounded. They might have even had a lot of commitments, high responsibilities, right? And I think you come in like, it came in like a wrecking ball. So we have time for a complete makeover, transformation, and change. I feel like you are in the process. I feel like your person is also in the process, but they're in, you know, in these kind of situations, there's a lot of really, really powerful, strong feelings and, and shadow work that comes to the surface in these kind of relationships, which create this kind of complete transformation and change. Last but not least, we have jump. We will be your net. Your higher self is saying um, it's time for a new beginning. It's time to trust and have faith, both of you. I think you're already there. I think you're ready. I think this person is scared shitless is what I think. But I think they're working on it. I think their team is helping them work on it. They're being pushed to show up and not give up. No white flags. You can't walk away from this. You can't. Right. This is about manifestation. This is about creating something together, scripting your future, visualizing, intending, taking a step with faith. This person needs to do what you're doing. I think you're a role model. I think they were probably at one point a role model for you. Maybe not. But this person over here is in the midst of a tower, you know, Towers always come in transformation. It's that death and rebirth. You are in the birthing stage. This person's going through a death is what it feels like. So let's take a look at the current energy, or I'm sorry, the past energy that you and this person share is the six of swords. Yeah. So I'm going to clarify these, but the six of swords is about healing and getting out of turbulence and moving forward. Maybe this maybe both of you were not in good places in your life, in your job, and your it's about your foundation. It could be about your money, your career, your self-worth, your stability, security, um, how you show up in the world. And in the past, it looks like somebody moved away, somebody, you know, moved beyond. Somebody said, you know, I've learned my lesson, I gotta go. I'm gonna clarify this, but somebody here obviously had the intention of moving to calmer waters, possibly even traveled. Somebody could have moved away. And with that 
giving up. This could be somebody who gave up. They're like, I just can't do this anymore. Hey, Mr. Ferryman, take me to Treasure Island. I need to get out of here. I don't know. We're going to clarify that. But the past energy is one of wanting tranquility, wanting things to feel better. No matter, somebody wanted to put distance here between them and whatever these very strong emotions brought up. It could be the retreat that we see here with the, I can't do this. Somebody retreated. Current energy, Knight of Cups. I like this. This is, you know, Don Juan. <laughs> this is the knight in shining armor. This is somebody who's in love. Somebody who wants to express that love. Somebody who really wants to come forward and make an offer. We'll have to look at what the obstacle is, right? Because this is the current energy. Current energy... Um, There could be an expression of emotion. Somebody could literally reach out in the month of May and, you know, want to make things better or just reach out and say, I love you, right? Then You never know what the Knight of Cups has got in that cup. All you know is it's very deep emotions. And this could be, I'm sorry. This could be, I love you. This could be, let's make bygones be bygones. This could be, let's go on a date. Let's have a conversation. Let's make love. Actually, that would probably be the Ace of Wands. But this is definitely somebody who's coming forward to express. Make some kind of a romantic gesture. I wonder who it'll be. I don't know, but we got time to celebrate. So May could bring about big changes. This person could be working through all of this energy here next we have the wheel of fortune for future energy this is whatever's meant to be will be i just heard um que sera, sera. whatever will be will be big changes coming in the future and it's destined change we'll clarify that to see how is it destined you know where is it going but this is a turn of events a big shift turn of events what is the obstacle ah the three of swords again this three of swords has been coming out in almost every reading so three of swords for me as a reader has many ways it can present it can present as third party you know where where our friends interfere or our family interferes or I'm with another person. I'm committed or married somewhere else. Cheating. If you're married and you're separated, you know, this could be a makeup, moving things forward, healing the heart. But the biggest obstacle is that heartbreak. Whatever created this pain, right stabbed through the heart. That's the obstacle. It's what needs to be healed and overcome. If you're married, this could literally be, you know, needing to go to to marriage counseling. My guess is you're not married, but I mean, some of you could be. We'll clarify. And what is next action? The star. I love this. This is that faith. This is that hope. This is that trust. This is that healing. This is wishing upon a star. This is being seen, heard, recognized. Wish fulfillment. This is nurturing. You know, this is the water bearer, Aquarius energy. Hmm. And we'll, we're going to clarify. So, and then the most likely outcome, look at that. Marriage, commitment, stability, security, financial. This is, you know, big um, tradition, family, 
inheritance? Yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Are you guys married? Or are you, maybe you were engaged, you had an argument, a breakup. Now you're going to make up, make it right. My wish for the future is marriage, commitment, stability, security, legacy. Well, now I got to know. Let's just start clarifying this stuff. All right, spirit. For Scorpio in the month of May. Can we take a look at the Six of Swords? What is the Six of Swords? The High Priestess. Yeah, this is... It feels like separation. It feels like non-communication. Silence. Let me clarify that High Priestess. With the Queen of Swords. Boy, she's been showing up almost in every reading too. I feel like the feminines... Now, this doesn't have to be female... We're talking feminine energy. They, they are learning those healthy boundaries, right? Where is that? Right there. Cut off. Boundaries have been established. No more. No more. I'm not taking any more crap. I want honesty. I want commitment. I want to be honored, recognized. I'm tired of being... The victim, I'm tired of giving more than I receive. I need to have recognition. I need to be seen. I need to be heard. I need to speak my truth. But here, it feels like a breakup. A cutoff. Somebody couldn't handle. I feel like it was this person. They're giving up. They, they walked away. Possibly because somebody set a very firm boundary that this person took as an ultimatum. And they're, they're in this energy of giving up, right? I can't do this. I can't do this. Spirit saying, show up, don't give up. If you want it, create it. Ask for help. Let go of yesterday, right? Move this into calmer waters. Somebody left. This is a cutoff, a breakup, an ultimatum. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. What is the Knight of Cups, please? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Uh, look at that. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Let's build a future together. Let's start all over. Let's fix this. Good energy. I don't know. I think it's probably this person or whoever. It doesn't matter. Does it matter? We got the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of freaking Cups, the Star card, the Wheel of Fortune. I don't think it matters. Whoever is ready to fight for this. In the month of May, somebody somebody's wanting to make this right. Somebody's willing to make it right. All right, Wheel of Fortune, why is it here? Why is it here? Why is it here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Please, Spirit, clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, these guys wanted to be seen, didn't they? They were on the bottom of the deck and after shuffling. So we've got, um, well, the Wheel of Fortune is destiny. What's destined to happen? We're going to talk about the fight we had. We're going to talk about the obstacles. We're going to talk about the conflict. We're going to try and work it out. We're going to figure it out. We're going to overcome it. We're going to start again. Tell me about the Page of Wands. What is the Page of Wands doing? Queen of Cups. Yeah, this is wanting to make it right. This is compassion, empathy. Where did we have that? We had empathy somewhere. Right here. Empathy. 
Seek to feel what others are feeling. Express empathy to others to overcome this. So I don't know who's doing this. You guys will figure it out, I'm sure. But somebody here is turning that wheel of fortune because they're willing to start over again. And they're willing to show empathy, compassion, love. They want to fight to overcome the obstacles. Conflict. Tell me about the Three of Swords. What was the problem? What broke the heart? What is the Three of Swords for? Yeah, for some of you, it's commitment. Clarify the Hierophant, please. Oh my God, are you serious? Yeah, for some of you guys, this could have been cheating. Also, you know, if this is a high-level soulmate, this could be the fear thing and anxiety. This could be running. This could be, you know, you just break each other's hearts because the higher lesson is, is to heal the heart. This might just be the two of you met each other in order to help one another heal. All of the brokenness, all of the, the lessons that life has brought, right? Clarify this Three of Swords more clearly for me, please. Yeah, it's the leaving. This has been coming out. That how many people out there in the world are freaking breaking up, leaving? The, the, this feels like, for some of you, a committed relationship that's just on the rocks been on the rocks for a while now and I feel like this could be higher counsel too this could be getting advice this could be going to marriage counseling or to a minister or teacher higher higher court right higher counsel to heal abandonment wounds to to finally Get out of this energy of not enough. Not enough victim. Not enough. Because see, the Eight of Cups is a lot of love, but it's not enough. It's not the Ten of Cups. And it's not the Nine of Cups. It's something that was invested in for a long time, but just really never made it to its full potential. And I believe somebody walked away. Somebody felt the need to walk away. And it broke both of your hearts. Look, there's two broken hearts here, not just one. And the obstacle is to learn the lesson to overcome this. And it looks like somebody wants to reconcile. Maybe both. Oh, look at that. Bottom of the deck. Yeah. Yeah. Is it over? Uh, I, see, the, these eclipses really do make us face our deepest fears and anxieties. They kind of force our hand. They make us choose. Are we going to repeat the old cycles over and 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 over again? Or are we going to choose happiness, joy, union, celebration, Marriage, commitment, I don't know. But it's showing up in a lot of these videos. I swear I feel like I'm reading for the same people. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. What was it? What happened? What is the obstacle? What are we walking away from? What did we walk away from? The past. Obsession. So a lot of you guys, if this is a relationship where you didn't let each other breathe, where trust was was hard. You know, I've dated people like this. I wasn't married to them, but I've dated people that got so jealous, so jealous that they couldn't, they would get angry and, and create a lot of trouble in the relationship because they were so insecure 
that they couldn't stand to let the, the partner breathe, to let the partner have a life outside of the relationship, friendships, family dynamic, you know, going out without being babysat or the, the trust, trust was broken. Or tr there was a fear of trust being broken. But this is literally what caused this was something in the past. I think it was jealousy. I think it was controlling. Yeah, I mean, trust might have been broken. Maybe somebody did something that broke the faith, broke the trust. Because this person's, this person doesn't trust and this person's learned to trust. This person isn't trusting though in this person. They're trusting in themselves. And the universe. This could be a big breakup. Just because somebody's wanting to fix it doesn't mean it will get fixed. There are two broken hearts here. And obviously somebody was clinging. And it was this clinginess or obsessive behavior or jealousy was stemmed in past relationships right past relationships not this relationship but past relationships where there was confusion and, and deception maybe even cheating it, it, it feels to me like an ultimatum like somebody this person over here might have said listen you know i love you i want to celebrate i'm i'm tired you know this could be a divorce this could be somebody who said i'm leaving and i'm never coming back we'll get more out of the oracle cards but this feels heavy this person seems to be celebrating their autonomy their new life their new beginning they're dreaming about the future they're seeing things with new eyes they're no longer playing the victim they're creating something stable and secure and this person over here is a hot freaking mess. And I think this is the person who is jealous, who is controlling, who, you know, probably checks this person's text messages or whatever. This could be wounds around the mother for this person. Phew, deep energy here told you we were going deep let's look at the star card what's the healing that happens in this what is the next action yeah the sun we got the sun and the star one more please most likely yeah action Ooh, the devil holy shit controlling look at that narcissistic controlling behavior devil energy somebody's freeing themselves if you if this person has been very very jealous very hard to get along with very cold and calculating withdrawn controlling obsessive jealous i mean this is healing energy but sometimes a healing is just getting away from it And this is the next action, right? This is happiness, renewed faith, wish fulfillment. Look at the, look at that. Somebody wants to make it right. Somebody's sorry for being all this. We're back again to the family dynamic. Mm -hmm. clarify i want to clarify the star and the sun again please clear energy clarity on the sun this is a successful completion of a cycle around arguing fighting narcissism 
um, somebody who stacks the deck who wants to win no matter what the cost. This is freedom. Somebody's freeing themselves. Tell me about this outcome card. What is the outcome card with the Ten of Pentacles? What is the outcome card for the Ten of Pentacles? The Chariot. Somebody's moving on. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles and the Chariot, please. Clarify the Chariot. Nine. Somebody's going for it. Somebody's moving away from the devil and the past. Look at this is the end of a cycle. I'm sorry, guys, but this looks like an ending. Now, not for everybody, because the Eight of Pentacles tells me some of you guys are willing to work on this. But for most of you, this was a lesson you had to learn, a karmic lesson. You had to do inner work. The Tower had, this is divine intervention. This is an old soul contract with the devil. Wow, deep energy. Let's see what your oracles say. Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Taking steps. I'm telling you, somebody's leaving. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Yes, this could be a big breakup. You might have left this person for better pastures, right? Things feel really good over here. You're looking at your future. You're taking steps toward the future. You're looking at celebrating. You're looking at maybe marriage, wish fulfillment, moving away, moving beyond. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So I'm going to leave this here because I feel like... um. I feel like I don't want I don't want to interfere with this decision. I think somebody's made up their mind and I think that they have the right to. I think they could have even been a victim. I think somebody here is has leveled up and saw their worth and they're ready to move toward that. Now, I do see a desire here in the current energy. Somebody wants to make this right, but I just don't know if they're capable. I don't know if they can do it without help. Without counseling, without psychiatric help. Warrior. This person could be somebody who's mean who flies off the handle, who can become abusive. Controlling. I mean, look at, we've got the Five of Swords here too. With the Two of Swords. The Ace of Cups and Temperance. This is about learning self-love. How did that get in the reverse? Yeah, this is a lesson. This is a lesson for this person here. Some of you guys are just going to completely cut this person off and leave forever. And why? Because you might have found somebody new. You might be divorcing. You might be, this could be a permanent breakup for a lot of you. This person might have fought. They, you know, we got the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands. We had it twice. With the warrior, this person might have a tendency to be violent, angry. Look at all this nasty energy. Impatient, self-absorbed, jealous, quick-tempered. So if this is your story, I, I sure as hell hope it's not. I hope everybody posts underneath this video. Tracy, this, this video is bullshit. Didn't resonate at all. I'll take one for the team, guys, because I really don't want to see people go through this. But I think you came together. You're going to teach this person patience and forgiveness. They're going to have to learn to forgive themselves, and they're going to have to learn how to temper themselves. That's that, um, where was it? Where was the temperance card? Yeah, 
temperance. With the Seven of Swords in reverse, this person needs to learn self-control and self-love, better choices, not to stack things, you know, not to be the kind of person that has to win at any cost. I think you showed that to them. I think that's why you met. I think you had to learn boundaries. Jump. We will be your net. Spirit's telling you it's okay. They. This is divinely orchestrated. Time for a complete makeover transformation. I think you are freeing yourself. So I'm going to take this over to the extended, even though I don't think I really want to sit in this person's energy anymore. I hope I'm wrong. I hope this is bullshit. <laughs> But deep in your heart, you already know the answer. I don't want to convince you one way or the other. I think this is your decision to make, and I think Spirit's helping you to make it. And I think that if this person had trust issues, and if they were combative or controlling or jealous or a easily angered, I think they did it because of fear and anxiety. My guess is they were probably abused as a child. Maybe even by the mother. So I'm going to leave this here. We're going to go over into the extended. And I am going to try to get more clarity. Because, you know, um, here in YouTube, I'm reading for a lot more people than I am over in Patreon. So this energy could shift completely over in Patreon. But somebody needed to hear this. Even if it's only one person, they needed to hear that it's okay for you to heal and move beyond this, that you deserve better. You don't need to be victimized. It's okay to cut this off. It's okay. And, and I have a feeling that this person love bombs you. You know, comes forward with a lot of promises, a lot of... I'm going to change. I'm going to make it better. I'm not, please don't leave me. And then they get like really anxious and, and self-absorbed and narcissistic. I just don't like this energy, guys. I'm glad that you're learning your lesson. You look great, man. You're doing great work over here. I'm proud of you guys. You're, you've learned to forgive. You're moving beyond. You've, you've learned, you know, how to be patient and kind healthy boundaries, taking steps towards your future, maybe even clearing space to attract new love or you already have. Just so you know, two hearts were broken in this. It wasn't one-sided. I just think your person is very, very, they need help. They need counseling. They need advice. They need external help and that was that hierophant card sometimes the hierophant is a counselor it's a teacher it's a lawyer or a, a minister or a counselor psychiatrist you know what I mean so once again I hope this isn't your story and I hope that it's nobody's story but I'm 100% certain it's at least one of you's story and so if this is resonating with you and you would like to see, you know, what what's going to happen and how it's going to resolve itself, then follow me over to Patreon. Okay? I love you guys. May's going to be a very, very beautiful month for you because you are liberating yourself. You're freeing yourself. And for anybody who is stuck in victim energy where they... keep repeating this cycle they keep letting this person come back they keep yeah you know i think the universe is telling you to go within your heart you know what the right thing to do is it might be time to to really use that eclipse energy to get rid of something inside and outside okay all right let's go see what happens i love you guys namaste